So first of all, in our lab, here is, uh, here's where we're gonna connect our gas. So really important, um, the valve inside of here uh, is what we call a, a ball valve, basically. And, and the way that, that this handle is pointing is the direction the, uh, the inside of that valve is pointing. So right now, it's pointing away from this. So that means that this is closed. Okay, uh, if we crank this and this is then pointing this way, then it is open, right? So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, right, our tube here, gonna connect this right here. Doesn't have to go on any further than that, really no need whatsoever, okay? And then to turn it on, we do it that way. We don't wanna do that yet because we want to be ready for everything uh, before we turn that on. We want to be ready to light it. So I'm going to go over here and I want to show you a couple of parts here of our uh, burner. Uh, by the way, the burner needs to be sitting flat. So you might need to twist here or here to get that to work, but you want the burner setting as flat as possible. Okay. Uh, give me just a second. I'm going to show you a couple of parts of this. Hope you don't mind my crude videoing here but okay so there are a couple of adjustments to this this one down here turning it clockwise or counterclockwise um, changes the amount of gas that goes in there this should not be the one that you adjust first okay um, instead uh, because this one should kind of be set from the last time someone used it right instead the one that you might need to adjust is this one here and this moves up and down right? Changing the amount of oxygen, basically, that's allowed into this, right, to create our, our burn. So we'll look at that here in just a moment, okay? Um, so when we go to light this, we can use one of two tools. We can either use our nice aim and flame, or we can use our sparker, right? If you're going to use a sparker, really important here. I like to do this. I put my thumb here and then I put my my fourth, my, my index finger here. And you kind of have to kind of push down with your thumb and kind of pull up a little bit with your finger. It takes a little practice, but you get a nice spark on there. So um, it doesn't matter which one that you use. Uh, some people prefer one over the other. Anyway, so I want to be ready though. So when I turn it on, ready to light. Now, I make that look easy because, you know, I'm me. No. Um, anyway, I make that look easy because I already had this set up. But um, if you try, change this here and I'll show you how hard this might be at some point. So if I try, oh, well, that didn't. If I try and nothing's happening, stop, turn it off, clear the air, do some ch adjustments if need be before you try to do it again. Don't just keep going because you're filling the room full of air or full of gas. So um, anyway, now I've got it lit. Real quick, also want to show you. <clears throat> you can see that there's a couple of different levels of flame in here, but we're gonna want uh, the top of the inner cone is the hardest or the hottest part of this. Okay, so that's where we're going to want to position some things, but we'll talk about that in the next video. So. In final, right? Make sure that this is that this is turned. When this is turned on, you are ready to light it. And if you have to leave for whatever reason, you or your partner have to leave. Turn it off. Don't walk away from a lit burner. Even if you say, "Oh, I just have to walk over to the other side of the room to grab something," and come back. No, don't walk away with a lit burner. All right.
that, that looks easy. Now you have to practice. <laughs>